seven bars, which is like the maximum. This is quite stupid. Mm. <laughs> I think we're gonna get hurt. Probably. <laughs> Can I go out? Okay, three, two, one. Oh shit. <laughs> How's it guys? A quick update video on the previous video that we did. Uh, that was the golf ball challenge, firing the golf ball out of the t-shirt cannon golf ball gun thing. Three, two, one. <laughs> Shut the ball, that's fine. Out of the block! Whoa! <laughs> We got uh, halfway through the day and we had a bit of a slight malfunction, I should say actually a misfire, a couple of misfires actually, and uh, we had to kind of wrap it up, didn't really get all the footage that I wanted to get. That said, I uh, came back home and I had an idea of what was wrong with the, with the actual gun or the trigger mechanism, or, or the valve mechanism should I say, and opened it up and lo and behold that was definitely the case. So. Uh, in any event, it is always safer to use a rubber compared to foam. Uh, that is, you'll have less chance of having a blowout. The two failure points on the Canon were these two little washers. Now they're just foam seal washers type thing. Uh, I used them because I only had one plastic washer at the time. As you can see here are two plastic washers. Um, but at the time of putting the gun together, I only had one and I needed two and I had these things lying around. Uh, they worked for quite a while, but uh, not for the long run. Before we talk about what happened, a uh, quick recap on how the uh, valve actually works in the mechanism. So we've got our barrel over here. Now, inside here is the actual barrel, and then this outer bit is the storage tank. So this little piston over here, it's just a kind of a plastic pole cap end makeshift thing that I that I made. Uh, this thing goes inside there and it slides in just like that um, and looking at it from the outside this thing normally sits over here and it pushes up against the inside of the barrel uh, that's when it's in the sealed position and everything is pressurized and then when we release the pressure from behind this piston that's going to be this section over here uh, the pressure kind of disappears and then the pressure that's left in front of the piston that's in this barrel kind of forces the piston backwards and it opens up uh, the hole in the back of the barrel and it allows the air to escape. So uh, for this gun to work efficiently this piston needs to actually slide in and out fairly easily uh, without hindrance from anything else. Now what happened is these little rubber washers were supposed to be mounted like that and what, it, what ended up happening is actually they had sucked out and they ended up moving into the center kind of like that. So uh, this piston was not really able to freely move, it was kind of pressing up against these, uh, these, these foam washers and that's what we noticed uh, during the video when we kind of opened the valve uh, you could hear 
it expelled all of the air and only once the pressure had dropped quite substantially at the valve section did the piston then eventually move and that is because it had extra pressure from behind it kind of pressing it forward three two one no something's getting stuck what is getting stuck so that was the failure point of the valve and well of the cannon so if i had used two of these kind of hard rubber or well hard plastic uh, washers that wouldn't have happened because uh, there's no way that these things are going to kind of bend and and uh, kind of suck into the back of the piston so uh, i got a second one um, and we are going to fit it today and then get back to firing golf balls or whatever else we can fit in our cannon another potential failure point uh, was the piston now this didn't fail it didn't really actually affect the performance of the cannon itself or the valve should i say um, but as you can see here there's a little bit of damage uh, there should be a nice foam seal all the way around runs around the piston and this one is kind of ripped off now i took the entire thing off there was only a small section of it that it kind of ripped out and uh, that's from the air kind of pressure or airflow passing over the seal all the time especially when we're running the cannon at very high pressures like eight bars so i decided to while it's open kind of uh, take it off and just put a new piece of foam on. Uh, for those of you wondering and that you haven't seen the Canon build video, I did show uh, everybody how to build this uh, quite a while ago. Um, I didn't really show the inside of the of the Canon, so there's not really much in here really. That's just where the back of the kind of the Canon is. Uh, you've got your valve. This is the outlet valve just to let a bit of pressure out uh, behind the piston. Uh, and you've got your ball valve on this side that is to kind of regulate well not regulate but that, that is to let air in to the to the cannon and then uh, you, you do that by kind of opening the valve lets the air in and then you shut it off and then the air is kind of stored in the cannon so it's a very simple little concept uh, the barrel itself that's this piece over here um, there's nothing really to it it's just got a 50 millimeter piece of tube inside this 75 millimeter piece that's what it looks like inside there and uh, that's as simple as it is and it works really really well another thing that i was quite impressed with is the uh, is the co2 canister so that's uh, this bit over here now i just threw this together very quickly for the the golf ball video and it actually worked out really well uh, kind of just made this little mounting bracket on the bottom I uh, used some 110 millimeter rubber clamps uh, to hold the bottle and then these were 75 millimeter clamps uh, that clamp onto the barrel. So yeah, it's nice and nice and sturdy and strong and it uh, kind of protects the regulator and the top of the bottle from kind of coming into contact with the ground all of the time. Um, yeah, worked really well. So I think I'm going to keep the design just like this. What I might change, uh, I'm not too happy with the, the valve sticking out the back of the cannon. What I want to do is I actually want to turn this 180 degrees around so that the valve is pointing inwards um, so that this part is protected somewhat. I don't really like that thing sticking out the back. Um, it's quite easy to kind of break that off. Even though we do only have um, six to eight bars coming out of here, that's still a fair amount of pressure and um, that can cause harm if the hose kind of whoops around. So we'll get to that modification. Something to look forward to, I've been thinking about this design for a little while now and uh, it's, got, it's, it's along the lines of what we did on Sunday with a golf ball. Uh, I want to make a, um, what do I call it? I suppose there's no better word for it than a golf ball machine gun. <laughs> so that should be quite fun to make. Uh, I want to make it completely fully automatic so you literally just pull the trigger and uh, then it fires all of the rounds of golf balls however many maybe 30 or 50 50 balls out uh, maybe one every second one every two seconds not too sure how that's going to work yet but uh, we'll iron out the details and start putting it together for this machine gun style we are going to have to machine some little parts but that's not really a problem we'll go to one of our mates he's got a lathe and uh, we'll take it from there that's definitely something that I need to get. So yeah, that's it. A nice little quick update. And uh, please, uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe. It really helps me with the videos. Uh, if you've got any comments, please leave them in the comment section 
below. It really uh, it does help me and I do like to hear from all of you. Thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>